is Jean-Pierre Bemba Gombo? Jean-Pierre Bemba Gombo is a Congolese national born in Bocada, Ecuador province, in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, the DRC. Mr. Bemba is a former vice president of the DRC. He was the president of the Mouvement de Libération de Congo, the MLC, a movement he established in 1998 with the goal of overthrowing the government in Kinshasa. In his capacity, he was also the commander-in-chief of his military branch, the Armée de Libération de Congo, L ALC, and the organization's figurehead and source of its fundings, goals, and aims. In October 2002, at the request and in support of the former president of the Central African Republic, Angel Felix Patassé, Mr. Bemba ordered the deployment of three battalions, approximately 1,500 men, to the Central African Republic to counter forces loyal to former chief of the staff of the, Gen of the Central African Army, General Francois Bosisset. Mr. Bemba was arrested on 24 May 2008 by the Belgian authorities pursuant to a warrant of arrest issued by the court and was surrendered to the court on 3 June 2008. Following the confirmation of charges against him on 15 June 2009, his trial began on 23 November 2010. What crimes did MLC troops commit? Well, the chamber concluded that from on or about 26 October 2002 to 15 March 2003, what we called 2002-2003 operation, MLC forces took part in an armed conflict not of an international character occurring in the Central African Republic. The conflict was between the Central African governmental authorities, supported by other forces including the MLC on the one hand, and the organized armed group of General Bosisset's rebels on the other. Additionally, the chamber found that during the 2002-2003 operation, the MLC forces directed a widespread attack against the civilian population in the Central African Republic. In the course of the 2002-2003 operation, MLC soldiers committed many acts of pillaging, rape and murder against civilians. The crimes were committed over a large geographical area, including in and around Bangui, PK-12, PK-22, Bosum, Damara, Sibut, Bosangoa, Bosembele, Dekoa, Cagabandoro, Bosemtele, Poali, Yaloque, and Mongumba. The chamber found that acts of murder, rape, and pillaging were committed consistent with evidence of a modus operandi apparent from the earliest days and employed throughout the 2002-2003 operation. After General Bosisset's rebels would leave an area, the MLC soldiers would search house to house for remaining rebels, raping civilians, pillaging their belongings, and on some occasions, killing those who resisted. Of what did the chamber find Mr. Bemba guilty? Trial Chamber 3 declared unanimously Jean-Pierre Bemba Gombo guilty beyond reasonable doubt of two counts of crimes against humanity, murder and rape, and three counts of war crimes, murder, rape, and pillaging. The crimes were committed in the Central African Republic from on or about 26 October 2002 to 15 March 2003 by a contingent of MLC troops. The chamber concluded beyond reasonable doubt that Jean-Pierre Bemba Gombo was a person effectively acting as a military commander who knew that the MRC forces under his effective authority and control were committing or about to commit the crimes charge. Additionally, the chamber found that Mr. Bemba failed to take all necessary and reasonable measures to prevent or repress the commission of crimes by his subordinates during the 2002-2003 operation or to submit the matter to the competent authorities. Further, the chamber found beyond reasonable doubt that the crimes against humanity of murder and rape and the war crimes of murder, rape and pillaging committed by the MLC forces were a result of Jean-Pierre Bemba Gombo's failure to exercise control properly. On which basis did the chamber conclude that Mr. Bemba is guilty? The three judges found Mr. Bemba guilty beyond reasonable doubt on the basis of all evidence submitted and discussed before the chamber at trial. The chamber admitted a total of 733 items of evidence and heard 76 witnesses called by the partisan participants and one witness called by the chamber. 
what sentence can be pronounced against Mr. Bemba and when? The judges may impose a prison sentence, a fine may be added, or forfeiture of the proceeds, property and assets derived directly or indirectly from the crime committed. The maximum sentence is 30 years. However, in extreme cases, the court may impose a term of life imprisonment. Trial Chamber 3 will decide on the procedure to be followed for sentencing after hearing the parties and the legal representative of victims. Where will the sentence be served? All persons convicted of crimes under the jurisdiction of the court do not serve their sentences at the ICC's detention center in The Hague, as the facility is not designed for long-term imprisonment. Convicted persons are transferred to a prison outside the Netherlands in a state designated by the court from a list of states which have indicated their willingness to allow convicted persons to serve their sentence there. The court consults with the national authorities and take into account the situation of the convicted person. Will victim obtain reparations? Victims before the ICC have rights that have never been granted before an international criminal court or tribunal. They can participate during the proceedings. In particular, in this case, trial number 3 authorized 5,229 victims to participate in the trial proceedings. They were allowed to even call witnesses. Two witnesses were called by the legal representative of victims and three victims were allowed to present their views and concerns to the chamber. Independently of the participation, victims may ask for reparations in case of conviction. In the case against Mr. Bemba, issues related to the procedure for victims' reparation will be addressed in due course after sentencing. Why did the chamber take more than a year in deliberations? Well, the chamber took the time that is necessary to evaluate the totality of the large amount of evidence presented at trial for a case involving five counts of crimes against humanity and war crimes that were committed over a large geographical area and for a time period of over four and a half months. In order to reach the verdict, the three judges analyzed 733 pieces of evidence, including 5,724 pages of documents, and more than 33,000 pages of transcripts from the testimony of 77 witnesses. Is the time taken for deliberations related to the case against Mr. Bemba et al for alleged offenses against the administration of justice? No. Both cases refer to different conduct and charges. In accordance with Article 74 of the statute, both cases must be decided by the two different trial chambers to which they have been assigned and based only on evidence submitted and discussed before them at trial. Trial Chamber 3 analyzed and evaluated the evidence presented to it independently of any other proceedings before another chamber. Is the verdict final or can it be appealed? The parties may appeal the decision of conviction within 30 days where an appeals chamber composed of five judges will decide the matter.